Hello viewers and welcome to Black June, a long-awaited paper to boost your preparation for the GCE and evaluate your preparation levels. Presenting, I am Miles myself with my team here present with me at the GCE Math Panel. Welcome. The quotients of 13 and 4 is 3, and the remainder is 1. The product of the dividend and the divisor is... Quotients means division and product multiplication. The dividend of these two numbers is 13, the divisor is 4. So the product of the dividend and the divisor is 13 times 4, which gives us 52. Arrange in descending order of size. Descending means biggest to smallest. Root 7 is the same as 2.65. The next number is 2.69. 133 on 50 is the same as 2.66 and 270% is the same as 2.70. Now that all the numbers are in decimal form, we can actually see their relative sizes. And the order here gives us C. What is the difference between the LCM and the HCF? of the number presented. So the LCM is the number with the highest order taken for each of those present. The HCF is the lowest order of the common numbers. So the LCM here is 2 to the power 3 times 3 to the power 2 which is 72 and the HCF is 2 to the power 2 times 3, which is 12. The difference gives us 60. Which of these numbers has a number pattern with a rotational symmetry of only 2? The order here is the number of times the object fits on itself when rotated through 360 degrees. And using number patterns, 12 can be represented as either 1 times by 12, 2 by 6, or 3 by 4. In each of these representations, it has just an order of 2. However, 16 and 4 are both square numbers. They are perfect squares. So they are actually square numbers, special types of rectangular numbers. And they have orders of more than 2. One has many others, so the result here is A. Find the equation of the line shown in figure 1. The gradient of this line is negative because we are moving from left to right downwards. So the gradient is negative. And the equation of a line is given as y equals m into x minus x1 plus y1 where m is the gradient and x1, y1 is a point through which the line passes. The gradient here is changed in y on change in x and that gives us minus 3 on 4 and we can use the point 4, 0 because that's the point that has been used in the equation and that gives us that equation which corresponds to the alternative C. Water flows out of a full tank of capacity 1,000 liters at 20 liters per minute. What percentage should be left after 15 minutes? The full tank here is actually 100% at the beginning. And in 15 minutes, we have 15 times 20, which is 300 liters that will flow out. We will therefore be left with 700 liters, representing a percentage of... 70. 
Jane and Mike live in the same house and school two kilometers away. Jane leaves for school at 7 a.m., trekking at one meter per second, while Mike leaves at 7.15 a.m., moving at two meters per second. Which of the following is not correct? Let us analyze each of them. So Jane's travel time is 2,000 meters divided by her speed, which is 2,000 seconds. So she takes 2,000 seconds while Mike travels using 1,000 seconds. So Jane uses 33.3 minutes. She leaves at 7 and therefore arrives by 33.3 minutes past 8. That is 7.33 approximately. While Mike arrives at 7.15 plus 15.7 plus 16.7 minutes, that's 7.31.7 a.m. And here, their time difference of arrival is 1.6 minutes. With these alternatives, Jane arrives approximately 7.33 a.m. It's correct. Mike takes 16.7 minutes to reach school. is okay. Their travel time difference is 1.6 minutes. is correct. If Jane left one minute later, she will arrive first. It is very clear here that Jane did not arrive first. And even if she left one minute earlier, she will still arrive second. So if she leaves one minute late, she will obviously still arrive late. So the exception here is D. Find the LCM. So let's take this step by step. The coefficients, using the coefficients, the LCM of minus 4 and 6 is 12 for the x we have x to the power 4 for t is you have t is the power 3 and for y we have just y so the lcm is the product of all these and that gives us d a bar contains a thousand sweets and 20 percent of the contents are removed after every 15 minutes how many sweets will have been removed in 45 minutes? You have to be careful with this question. So in 45 minutes, there will be three removals. And each of the removal corresponds to 80% left. So at each, in at each interval, we have 80% left. So the final amount that will be left will be 0.8 to the power 3 times the initial amount, which is 1,000. So at the end, we'll be left with 512 sweets. And the amount removed will be 1,000 minus 512, which is 488. Alternatively, we can use the following, but this one will waste time. So time, at 0 minutes, we have 1,000 left. In 15 minutes, they would have removed 20%, 800 will be left. In 30 minutes, they would have removed another 20% and 80% of 800 is 640. And in 45 minutes, we'll be left 512. So the amount removed will still be the same, 488. Which of these is the set? Which of these is the set of links in the network in Figure 2? Note that this particular network, we have directed and undirected lines. A line with double arrow is the same as a line with no arrow. It means both directions. And both directions are represented either by using braces or using brackets which represent order CD and DC. But a single brace can represent the two. So the only key here or, or the only correct option here is C. Another question that may be asked is, in how many ways can you move from C to B? You can move from C to A and A to B, and you can move directly. So there are two ways. However, to move from B to C, there is only one way, which is from B to C. Water flows mm, out of a full tank of capacity. A is reflected on the x-axis followed by a reflection Water flows on the y out of a full image tank of capacity. The first thing is water to flows point out a of a full tank, tank of capacity and then on y. Water the flows out of a full tank two units of capacity down, four units left. So water flows out of a full tank of capacity, the axis and then two units downwards. 
Water flows are now reflects the down the of white capacity. axis. Note that the distance from this point to the white axis. Water flows is out of a full tank of capacity. Water flows out right. of a full and tank so image of capacity minus four minus two. Water flows this out of a full tank of capacity. A rotation of a hundred and water flows degrees, out of a full tank of capacity by that rotation matrix. We have the same result. Water flows out of a full tank. Find the point that is mapped onto itself under this transformation. So this point is a self-image such that TP gives P. Let the points be X, Y. We have minus 1 times minus 1, 0, 0, minus 1 times X, Y giving us X, Y. And when we solve for this equation, we we'll have X to be equal to 0 and Y to be equal to 0. So the only point that is a self-image in this transformation is the point 0, 0. Given the logic statement, P implies Q and the inverse and the converse are respectively. The inverse is given by negation implies negation. That's how we get the inverse. So for the converse as well, we just have to swap their positions. So the alternative here is B. Negation of P implies negation of Q, and Q implies P as convert. A bar contains a thousand sweets, and 20% of the contents are removed after every 15 minutes. How many sweets will have been removed in 45 minutes? You have to be careful with this question. So in 45 minutes, there will be three removals, and each of the removal corresponds to 80% left. So at each in at each interval, we have 80% left. So the final amount that will be left will be 0.8 to the power 3 times the initial amount, which is 1,000. So at the end, we'll be left with 512 sweets, and the amount removed will be 1,000 minus 512, which is 488. The sum of the first n terms of a sequence is given by S n equals that find the fifth term note that according to what has been given here the fifth term would be equal to the sum of the first five terms minus the sum of the first four terms and the sum of the first five terms is five times four the sum of the first four is four times three and the difference is eight so the fifth term is eight which of these is a disjunction Disjunction is the same or means the logic or. The logic or is like union, but used straight lines are used. So we have B. The mean of two numbers is minus two and your product is three. Find these two numbers. Your mean is minus two, so A, let the numbers be A and B. A plus B on two is minus two. The product is 3. When we solve by substitution, we will have this quadratic equation, minus 4a minus a squared equals 3. And this gives us the values of a to be 1 and 3. When a is 1, b will be equal to 3 by substitution. And when b is 1, a will be equal to 3. So these values are 1 and 3. The shaded portion represents, so this is a segment. A segment is bounded by a chord and an arc. While a sector is bounded by two radii and an arc. Note, if a chord passes through the center of the circle, then in that case, we are going to have a semicircle. And in the case of a semicircle, the segment and the sector behave the same. However, this is not the case here. So the result here is C, it's a segment. A regular polygon has 24 sides. What is the interior angle in degrees? 
We know that the number of sides is given by 360 degrees divided by the exterior angle or the external angle. And the external angle here is equal to 360 degrees divided by the number of sides. That gives us the angle to be 15 degrees. The interior angle will be equal to 180 minus 15. That gives us 165 degrees. The sequence shown is, well, we have to note that this sequence is not increasing. You can see that it is alternating, positive, negative, positive, negative, so it is not increasing and it's not decreasing. The ratio is not 3 as well. This sequence is not negative and it's not positive. The ratio here when we divide is minus 1 and 3. However, it is geometric. So this is a geometric sequence. Find the value of the site marked X from circle theorems two times the total length. The two that's outside should be called three times that total length. This gives us an equation: two X plus four equals twenty-four. And when we solve for X, we have ten. The perimeter of a square equals the circumference of a circle of radius 3.5 centimeters. What is the side of the square? If one side of the square is L, then the perimeter is 4L, and that should be equal to the circumference of a circle, which is 2 pi radius. So L will be equal to 2 pi radius on 4, which is 5.5. Which of the following is a binary digit? Binary digits are base 2 digits and we have just 0 and 1. Base 10 digits are called decimal digits and we have from 0 to 9. Equally have pental numbers, sexal numbers and so on, hexadecimal and so on. An airplane flies from O, 80 kilometers on a bearing of 35 to point X, and then changes its course on a bearing of 110 degrees. What is the bearing of O from X? Note, all bearings are measured from north, and bearings must always be in three digits. So we just sketch the requirements and that is what we have and we see that the bearing of O from X measured from north clockwise will be 180 degrees plus 35 degrees note that since this line from O to X is a transversal of those two parallel north lines these angles are equal so this bearing gives us 180 plus 35, which is 215 degrees. The cost price of an article is 80% the selling price. What is the percentage selling price? Be careful with this question. You can check the above value, which of them will give us 80%. Knowing that cost price is always equal to 100, so you can actually check. Or we can solve by letting cost price to be equal to 80% selling price or 0 0.8 times the selling price. When we check, we'll see that the selling price percent is 125%. Or percentage selling price will be equal to selling price on cost price times 100%. And this will give us selling price on cost price is 0 0.8 selling price. Selling price will cancel out the selling price will be left with. 1 divided by 0 0.8 times 100%, which is 125%. And don't forget to subscribe. It has not been easy working with the team, as well as the challenges of technology. We are Miles, Fritz, Riza, Ivina, and Hugo. Also watch out for the examiner's bad hand which is coming after this particular paper.
The mean of two numbers is minus two, two and your product. The two lines y equals one and y mean of two numbers is minus two and your product. Y the mean of two one numbers is, is minus two, line. and your so product is just the same as the x-axis. The mean of two numbers is, is minus two, angle and your product the lines y equals x and the, x the mean of two numbers is minus two, and your product a here will be equal to one. The mean of two numbers is minus two, and your product a the angle being a is called the mean of two numbers is minus two, and your product one is forty-five degrees. The mean of two numbers is minus two, and your product the the mean of two numbers is minus angle. two and your product so look at what happens the mean of two angle. numbers is the minus is two and your product this angle is the angle supplement the mean of two degrees. numbers is minus that two and your product will be 135 degrees the mean of two numbers That's is minus equation. two how many sugar cuboids each of dimensions two by one point five by one will fit exactly in a cartoon of dimensions 15 by 12 by 4 centimeters. The number of cuboids here will be equal to the cartoon volume divided by the cuboid volume, that is the volume of each sugar cuboid. And that gives us 192. A certain empty and call package is such that the first 30 minutes Call charges are 4 francs per minute, international, and from the 31st minute, it is 2 francs per minute. For how many minutes can I call with a package of 200 francs? The first thing we'll note here is that the first 30 minutes, I'll spend 120 francs. The minutes left from my 200 francs is 80 francs. So, but for this remaining time, I spend 2 francs per minute. So the remaining minutes will be 40 minutes. So I'll call for a total of 70 minutes. The volume scale for two figures is 64 to 125. The area scale will be area scale is we first of all get the linear scale, which is the cube root of the volume scale. And then to have the area scale, we square this value. So this gives us the cube root of 64 on 125, all squared, giving us 60, 16 on 25. Solve for x in that equation. Here the issue is to make the basis the same, since the unknown exists as a power. And 0.25 is the same as 1 on 4, which is the same as 1 on 2 to the power 2, and same as 2 to the power minus 2. Now the bases are the same. Equating powers gives us x minus 5 equals minus 2, and x equals 3. On a map of scale 1 is to 10,000, a plot of land measures 5 centimeters by 4 centimeters. What is the actual area in square meters? Note that um, 100 centimeters is 1 meter. So on the map, the length is 5 centimeters, which corresponds to 500 meters. And the width, 4 centimeters, corresponds to 400 meters. Since the scale is 1 centimeter, is to 10,000 centimeters. We can convert directly. The area being length times width gives us 200 thousand square meters the speed time graph of a car is shown in the figure below what is the total distance traveled now the area under a speed time graph gives us the distance but you have to equally be aware here that the time axis here is in minutes so we have to convert that value to seconds while walking that is the trick in this question. So the distance, looking at the figure, it is a trapezium. So you can get it directly by half the sum of the parallel sides times the height, which will be equal to 10 plus 15 divided by 2 times the height, which is 20. And converting the time to minutes, to seconds rather, we have 60 
seconds so we multiply by 60 and that gives us 15,000 meters a statistic has variance of 9 what is the standard deviation standard deviation is the square root of variance and that gives us 3 Below concerns a construction, which of the following is not correct? A careful look at this construction indicates a bisection. And from this bisection, XY is a bisector of the line AB. Therefore, A to O is the same as O to B. The distances are the same. And OX is equal to OY. Similarly, we have the angles... A O X to be equal to X O B equal to B O Y and equal to A O Y. All the angles there are equal. Triangle A X B is an isosceles triangle. Triangle A X B is an isosceles triangle. Same as triangle X A Y. Now, looking at the values here, BX is equal to AY. True. AO is not equal to OB. False. So, B has an issue. At a student's party in, in Dreamland, three, three types of three points were served. Booster, Guinness, and Siminoff. In figure three, if given that a only ladies drank Siminoff, how many guys were at the party? In figure three, if point A is... A careful look... In figure three, and if point the diagram a is and from what has been given, we have to note that some ladies three, drank more than one a is Not forgetting that only ladies in figure drank three. Enough. So if, if anybody a drank me enough, that person must be a lady. In figure three, this makes us point a to see is that the triangle blinking, the circle blinking in figure three, three yellow. If point a is only ladies. Therefore, outside in that figure circle, three, we have just point A is giving us a value of 88 when we sum. In so figure three, guys, if point A is... In figure three... PT in the figure is the tangent to the circle at P, and O is the center. If angle B, P, T is 54 degrees, then O, P, B equals... Angle PAB is 54 and PB is actually a chord. It subtends an angle at A of 54 degrees from circle theorems. Therefore, the angle it subtends at the center will be equal to 108 degrees. Since PO is equal to OB, the triangle POB is an isosceles triangle as you can see. Therefore, the angle at P is equal to the angle at B. And this angle will be given by 180 degrees minus that angle at the center, which is 108 degrees, divided by 2. And that gives us 36 degrees for the angle O, P, B. The transformation T equals 3003 is this transformation of the form k 0 0 k is always an enlargement of factor k but let us look at the other values that has been given a 90 degrees anti-clockwise rotation is represented by 0 1 minus 1 0 just like in the other past question videos that other uh, other colleagues presented and a share along the x-axis, that is when you pull a figure stretched along the x-axis represented by 1k, 0k. Along y, we have 1, 0k, 1, that's a share along y-axis. And a reflection on the line x equals y is 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. When you look at the line 3y equals 3x, it's just the same as the line x equals y or y equals x. When sine an a equals cos a, is from the exception o, is a. when sine a equals cos an airplane a, flies from o, o, one that is sine a on cos a. 
and the angle A an will, will be 45 flies from degrees. O. This angle is an acute angle and is an airplane flies from O. Degrees. So A is correct, B is correct. C an airplane flies from O. A is an obtuse a angle. A is actually not an, an airplane flies from O. Obtuse angle. An airplane a flies is not from O. A is true. A is rather supplementary. An airplane to flies from O. Degrees. Given the identity that the values of B and C are respectively, here we have to expand and simplify. And when we expand and simplify, we have minus 2x squared plus 5x minus 3 to be equal to minus 2x squared plus bx plus c. And equating coefficients, we have b to be equal to 5 and c to be minus 3. Express as a single fraction. When you look at the alternatives, we see that the final fraction is 1 minus x. So we have to make both fractions denominators to be 1 minus x. Notice that x minus 1 is the same as minus into 1 minus x. So this gives us 2 over 1 minus x minus minus 5 on 1 minus x. And the value is 7 on 1 minus x, a single fraction. If the numerical value of this expression is 1, when a is 1 and b is 2, find the value of c. Here we have to substitute and equate to the given value. So this gives us 4 on 6 minus c to be equal to 1, and 6c will be equal to 4. 6 minus c equals 4, giving us c to be 2. In which of these quadratics is one root thrice the other? It is not in A. In A, one root is four times the other. In B, one root is two times the other. In C, one root is one and a half times the other. The only answer here is D. One as the root. 4A squared minus B squared is the same as Observe this is a difference of two squares and to factorize we just have to take the square root of the n terms Put minus in one bracket plus in the other bracket. So we have 2a minus b times 2a plus b In an arithmetic progression the first term is 9 and the common difference is minus 2 The sum of the first n terms is 25 find the value of n So the sum of the first n terms is n on 2 into first term plus last term or 2a plus n minus 1d. This gives us n into 2n minus 2n equals 50. 2 is common. You have n into 10 minus n equals 25. When you expand, we have a quadratic equation of that form. And when we solve n, we have n to be equal to 5. Positive value. I love this one. The volume of a cube is 8 cm cube. The total surface area will be for a cube, the volume is called to side times side times side. Therefore, a side will be equal to the cube root of the volume, which is 2, and total surface area is side times side times 6. So this will give us 24. Town A is 3 hours behind GMT and Town B is 2 hours ahead of GMT. When the time at A is 6 p.m., the time at Town B will be, here we have to note the time difference. The time difference is 5 hours, since Town A is 3 hours behind and Town B is 2 hours ahead. So the time difference is 5 hours. And the time at B will always be equal to the time at A plus 5 hours. So the time at B will be equal to this time difference, which is 5 hours plus 6. That gives us 11 p.m. And the 24 hours clock, we have 23 hours. The table below represents corresponding X and Y values for a quadratic. 
the quadratic is symmetrical about for us to know where or how the quadratic is symmetrical we just observe the values of y and see where there is a, some sort of a mirror line and that mirror line occurs when y is equal to minus one you can see the values at minus one as the boundary on the left and right you have zero when you move further you have three on the left three on the right if you move further again on the left will be eight and the right will be eight so at what value of x is this symmetry occurring it occurs when x is two another way to get the line of symmetry or axis of symmetry is to take the average of the roots average of the x values and the average of the roots occur when the y's are zero so the roots are when x is one and when x is three and the average gives us three plus one on two which is in the previous question which of these is true this is still the table here the maximum value of y is minus one this is not true because y equals minus one is the minimum value it is the minimum value not the maximum value the roots are one and three not minus one and minus two as it is shown there when x is minus one y will be equal to from symmetry you can see that the value of y must be equal to eight when x is equal to minus one like i explained in the previous question the quadratic has root x plus one x plus three equals zero this is false the roots are x minus one equal x minus one times x minus three equals zero From the OGIF, that is cumulative frequency curve in the figure below, the interquartile range is interquartile range is the same as the upper quartile minus the lower quartile. The upper quartile is indicated Q3 minus lower quartile Q1. The upper quartile is the same as the 75th percentile, and the lower quartile is the 25th percentile. Our upper quartile here will give us when the cumulative frequency is 30 we move it to the line and bring it downwards we have four and the 25th percent of the cumulative frequency which is 10 when we touch the line and move downwards you have 2.5 so the interquartile range should be 4 minus 2.5 which is 1.5 note if they ask for the semi interquartile range it means you should look for the median and the median score occurs at A half of 40 which is actually 20 and when we move to that line and touch move downwards we will have 3.5 Kim okay. a bias coin is such that the probability of the head is to fit if this coin is tossed twice what will be the probability to obtain two tails so the probability to obtain two tails, since the events are independent, so the probability of tail times probability of tail, the probability of a tail here is 3 feet, that is 1 minus 2 feet, times 3 feet, which is 9 on 25. They may ask for other things like probability of at least one tail. Key here is C. I have been mice myself, the PR of this team, together with Luisa, Fritz, Evina, and Hugo, as well as our technicians on the team assisting equally from outside. Thank you very much and don't forget to also watch the paper called Examiner's Bad Hand. This is not the GCE but the preparation Evaluate your level of preparedness. Stay tuned for paper two and thank you. Bye bye.